Uh, greetings, math fans. All right. So what today we're going to do is um, we're going to find the equation given two points. So this is going to be um, given two points. Find the equation. So back in the day, which is just last lesson here, um, I asked you guys to find the equation and I gave you guys a point and I gave you guys a slope. All right, And what you did is you just plugged it into point slope form. It's really, really easy. Well now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to be quite as friendly. Okay, I'm not going to hand you guys a slope. I'm going to hand you guys two points. Well, what do you do if I give you two points? I mean think about it. If I gave you two points, can't you find the slope? How are you going to find the slope? Ah, uh, our good friend the yaks. All right? So let me uh, start out with a nice little friendly example here. Um, you're given two comma negative six and four comma four. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say m equals. And again, guys, remember, please put the m equals in double negative. All right, write that out there so you don't make a mistake with uh, with your signs. And, you know, if you want to label things, that's cool. X one y one x2, y2. That's good. So we're going to say um, 4, remember it's the y over x, right? Don't do the evil distant cousin, the xoi. So it's going to be 4 and negative 6 on top, and the bottom is 4 and 2. So we get, of course, that's plus, so 4 plus 6 is 10 over 2, so our slope is 5. Okay? And then, now this is the deal. I've got two points and I have one slope, and if I want to use point slope form, well, which point do I use? Um, I don't know. Does it matter? Well, let's kind of check it out real quickly here. Okay, so this is our. Let me. I'll put it over here. Our first case scenario is we're going to use two negative six, and my slope is five. Okay, let's plug it in. Y plus six equals five times x minus two. All right, it's point slope form. So we're going to get y plus six equals five x minus ten. We subtract 6, so y equals 5x minus 16. Okay, that's first case scenario. Second case scenario is we do uh, 4 comma 4, and our slope is 5. Well, let's see what we get. It's y minus 4 equals 5 parentheses x minus 4. Okay, y minus 4 equals 5x minus 20. Add 4 to both sides. Y equals 5x minus 16. Amazing! Amazing! Sweet. Okay, those are equal. So it doesn't matter. That's the deal. It doesn't matter which point you're going to use. You're just looking for um, you're just looking for the slope intercept form, so you can use either one of those points. Alright? Okay, let's try a few more examples here. So you're given 3, negative 7, and 6, negative 2. And you want to find the equation. Okay? So it's, you know, same stuff. First of all, you got to find the slope. So m equals negative, negative. And again, let's label it x1, y1, x2, y2. So we're going to do negative 2 and negative 7, and 6 and 3. So that's plus, so negative 2 plus 7 is 5 over 3. So my slope is 5 thirds. So let's plug it in. And again, it doesn't matter which point you're going to use, so pick the smaller numbers. Okay, I mean, you can choose negatives or positives, it doesn't really matter, but I would choose smaller numbers. So it doesn't really matter here, they're both, they're both pretty much equivalent, okay? So I'm going to use the first point, and I'm going to say um, y plus 7, right, opposite of negative 7, equals 5 thirds times x minus 3. Okay, so y plus 7 equals 5 thirds x. And then, you know, if you want to do it on the side here, that's cool. Or in your calculator, I don't care. But that's a 1, and it's a negative 1, so it's minus 5. Okay, and then you're going to subtract 7 from both sides. So y equals 5 thirds x minus 12. Okay, that's it.
Pretty easy stuff, right? Okay, a few more examples here. Negative 1, comma 3, and negative 3, comma negative 3. So m equals, and it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So be careful, this is not zero, right? It's negative three minus three is negative six, and that's plus, so that's gonna be negative two on the bottom. So we get three. Now, for the point slope form, there are obviously there are two answers for these, this problem, okay? Because you're given two points, and that's great. And so either one of those answers is correct, and obviously when you do slope intercept form, you really only get one answer. You can use either one of the points, but you still get one answer. So let's use um, the first point. So y minus 3 equals m times x plus 1. So y minus 3 equals 3x plus 3. Then I add 3 to both sides. So get y is equal to 3x plus 6. Okay? Pretty mellow stuff. Okay, one last one with a normal problem. Then we're going to get some uh, fancy schmancy ones. So 4 negative 6 and 2 comma 1. So m equals uh, y, so 1 and a negative 6, 2 and a 4. So it's plus, so we get 7 over negative 2. So it's negative 7 halves. Okay, no big deal. So let's use the, let's use the second point, smaller numbers. So it's y minus 1 equals negative 7 halves times x um, minus 2. Okay, and again, this is an answer in point slope form. Okay, I'm really done if I have a point slope form. All right, so let's move on and distribute. So y minus 1 equals negative 7 halves, and that's plus. So 7 halves, negative 7 halves times negative 2 over 1. That gives me positive 7. Okay, and then we're going to add 1 to both sides. So y equals negative 7, oh, there's an x here, negative 7 halves x plus 8. Okay, there we go. That's slope intercept form. Okay, so that's pretty easy. That's just given two points and, um, you know, given two points and uh, you find your slope and then you find your equation. Okay, that's all pretty mellow. All right, so now what I'd like to do is uh, show you a couple of special cases. And these are actually really pretty easy. And this is what I'm, these are the problems here. So these are special cases. Very special. Very nice. Um, 2 comma 7 and uh, negative 3 comma 7. Okay, so let's figure out our slope. So it's 7 minus 7 on top and negative 3 and 2 on the bottom. So you get 0 over negative 5. Okay, what's 0 over negative 5? Well, I hope you guys tell, are telling me it's 0. If you didn't know that, you can always type in your calculator, but you should know if zero's on the top, it's zero. And what if zero's on the bottom? You should remember that is undefined. Remember, it's underfined, undefined. So it's under, and if it's under, then it's undefined, the zero, okay? So we get zero over negative five is zero. And you gotta think back, guys. When you see a zero here, you gotta remember it's a BAM problem. Okay, it's it's uh, you know a very fast problem. It's gonna be either x equals or y equals. Well, remember what's the zero slope? Well, isn't zero slope going this way? Okay, so isn't that a y equals? And then what I want you to do is I want you to say, well, what is y equal? Oh, it equals seven. So there we go. That's the answer to that problem. Y equals seven. Um, even if I graph this thing, so it's two comma. 2 comma 7 and negative 3 comma 7. If I plot those two points and I, I graphed it, well, there it is. Okay? That's not bad at all. So you're just basically, um, you know, you're basically just using the yox and you're finding out that the slope is 0. Now I'm going to show you a, kind of a little, little extra tip here, math fans, is I can look at this problem and I can say, oh gee, they're both seven. 
So it's almost like a shortcut if you recognize that one of those numbers are the same, the x, either the x coordinate or the y coordinate is the same, it's a band problem. So it's y equals 7. That's it. Just kind of looking at it. All right, so let's, let's do um, 2 comma negative 4 and 2 comma negative 1. Well, let's figure out the slope real quickly. So y2, we're going to do negative 1. Well, here, double negative, what? Negative 1, negative 4, and 2 and 2. So it's going to be 3 over 0. Okay, remember, it's on the bottom, undefined, undefined. So this is going to be undefined. Now, that's great. This is the slope. And that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the equation. Well, what's the equation? When, it's, when something is undefined, the equation is going to be x equals, isn't it? Okay. And what does x equal? x equals 2. But once again, your shortcut is looking at the points and noticing that the x values are all the same. Okay? So that's why you can tell me right away that x equals 2. So now without even finding out the slope, let's do some of these band problems that are fast. Um, 4 comma negative 7 and 8 comma negative 7. Okay, again, man, you should recognize, oh, look at that. Y is negative 7 for both of them. That's my equation. That's really easy. Here, um, negative 13 comma 2 and negative 13 comma 5. Oh, x's are the same. x equals negative 13. 0 comma 7 and 0 comma 10. Oh, x's are the same. Th these are so fast. And again, if you're not really sure about it, you can always plug it into the equation and find that the slope is either 0 or undefined. I mean, like for this y equals 7, my slope is going to be 0. For the x equals negative 13, my slope is going to be undefined. For x equals 0, my slope is going to be undefined. Okay? So those are really, really fast type of problems. Um, and, uh, you know, as long as you know what you're doing, you're, you're, it's really, really fast. All right? Well, one last thing here. What happens instead of me uh, giving you guys two points on a, uh, you know, handing you two points, what I do is I plot two points. So I have this point right here and this point right here. Well, a couple things. First of all, guys, if I hand you two points on a graph, why don't you just figure out what the points are? Okay? That's all you need to do. So this is going to be 2 comma 2, and this is going to be uh, 0 comma negative 4. All right? And so I'm going to do m equals, to figure out my slope. Uh, you can actually count if you want, or you can just use the x. Right? If I count, I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and over 2. So my slope is 3. If I use the ox, I get um, negative 4 and 2 and 0 and 2. So I get negative 6 over negative 2, which is also 3. Now this is a nice case because, guys, I handed you the y-intercept. Isn't, isn't that where we're across the y-axis? So is my equation y equals 3x minus 4? Okay, but if you didn't know that, let's just use that 2 comma 2 instead in our point slope form. So it's y minus 2 equals our slope, which is 3 times x minus 2. So y minus 2 equals 3x minus 6. I add 2 to both sides. I get y equals 3x minus 4. Hey! That's it, math fans. Okay, so... Just don't panic if I hand you two points on a, on a grid. I, you know, just look at it and say, gee, those are the two points, and let's, I can use the ox. So it's like, it's like all the other examples I did before, except now I'm just uh, I'm plotting the points instead of handing you the points. Okay? So that's pretty much it. Those are your special cases and um, normal you know, problems given two points. All right, math fans. You guys have a great day. Adios. Goodbye.